Okay, here we are to talk about The Mighty Ducks Game Changes Episode 7, I believe. And this is where the show gets really bad. Then they close their eyes with the hockey puck on the ice and somehow magically passed to each other to score a goal, which was totally stupid. They did dumb things like this in the original series, but I never seen anything this bad. Um, it made no sense. First of all, the hockey mom, well, she was a hockey mom, but she wasn't a very, she's not a very good coach. She cannot, how do I put it this way? She could never have coached a real hockey team in real life. She has no experience to do something like that. She's horrible. When will they just turn the reins over to Coach Bombay? <laughs> Coach Bombay, Emilio Estevez. Um, he wasn't. He didn't use his name to throw himself out there like the rest of his family. So that's why he's not as famous as people would think. If people didn't know that, and I think he he's looking real rough. He looks like banged up. He looks like he's been through a few boxing matches. I, I feel bad. I don't know if there's something personally wrong with him. Uh, I don't know what's wrong, but it doesn't seem like he's himself. And it's been, it's been through the entire show pretty much. I don't want to man I didn't really want to mention it till now because I didn't think it was it would get I thought it would get a little better, but no. I understand they wanted someone with a rotten personality that didn't want to play hockey anymore, but it just looks like he has no personality at all for his own character. And that's a huge flaw for the team because the only way this show is going to succeed is if Emilio Estevez as Gordon Bombay was a good character, but he's not. And you know, I'm a little, I'm a little bit disappointed because I wanted this show to at least end at a high note. Now, I no one said the show was canceled yet, but I think it's going to get canceled. Even if it survives another season, it won't get past that. And it's really sad. And the camera angles that you've taken this whole show are horrible. It's like they're using a GoPro gimbal like I have for my um, puck videos. And it looks like they're using that sometimes to move around and watch people. I understand because of COVID and everything, they're trying to take severe precautions. But the camera angles are just horrible. And it's a similar thing with the Disney Plus show, Big Shot, whatever it's called, with um, John Stamos. Um, it's like the same cameras, that, well, obviously the same studio Disney is doing it. So, oh boy. Oh boy is right. It's just it's it's not it's not a good thing. I think they um need to Now here's another thing I wanted to mention was there was an ice pond scene or it was like an ice pond and they all went in the middle of the woods somewhere with a it was a circular area with snow and ice and whatever and then there was a goal. That's where they first made to put those stupid um blinds blinds on or whatever they're called. Um and they put them, um, they put them on so they couldn't see and all this other stupid shit. And they were moving around and falling over each other. It didn't make any sense. That has no, and you know, once again, that did happen in the original series, but not as bad to this degree. And in that scene, when they were, when they were moving around, it looked completely fake. You know, nowadays, even the cheapest shows should be able to make their backgrounds look somewhat authentic. When you look at shows nowadays, though, it's not the case. A good majority of the shows at the at the lower end spectrum, they're terrible. They don't look real. They don't look realistic. And you say to yourself, what the hell is going on here? Is anyone even trying to make a TV show? The answer is absolutely not. Nobody has tried. Absolutely nobody. And you know what? I'm very, very disappointed. Very disappointed in what I've seen. And I think that if the, um, the Disney tried a little more, they could do better. They, they have money. I know everyone's lost money in the pandemic, but if anything, they would have the money. They've been around a very long time. They, I think they could scrounge together something to make the whole TV series look a little better. How this got a 7.6 on IMDb, the Information Movie Database, is beyond me. I don't know how it happened. I don't know. This isn't a 7.6. This is about a five. That's really bad, but I believe it's a five. I don't know how anyone could disagree with me. Um, I don't know how you could rate it any higher. There's nothing going on. And all the episodes are a half an hour. You might as well just put the show on the Disney Channel or something. Rather than Disney Plus. And you only get one episode a week. All these, most of the episodes, I think, yeah. 
at least for this season, are I forgot how many episodes they signed on for. If it's 20 something or 16 or whatever the hell it might be. But for, but for, for whatever, how do I put it? For whatever the amount of episodes might be, they can't just release one episode a week, especially for kids. They're normally a half an hour, so I don't know how a half an hour is going to keep a kid going for a week till then it comes on again. But you got to remember, you don't have to rush to it. You can watch it at any time because it's on Disney+. Plus. I don't agree with a lot of these Disney original TV shows they've been making lately. I think they're horrible. I mean, the Marvel shows are okay, but enough is enough. I mean, everything has been superheroes for over 10 years now. They have to switch it up a little and convert over to something different. I'm not saying they're terrible. I'm just saying it's not my kind of style. I would rather see um, something different. But that's what they've been doing. They don't have. They also don't have a real sports, should I say, TV show in their lineup right now. It's all a bunch of jokes and comedy and shit. They need something that can really be serious. They won't do anything with gargoyles, right? <laughs> um, they should. We'll see what happens in the future, but I don't I don't have much of a game set on this show. It got, probably got a lot worse. The episode before this, most of the cast returned. There was one person that didn't return. I don't know what happened. I thought I don't even remember what character it was. It's been so long, but the, there was one character that wasn't there. So, um, having a reunion without the entire cast is bad, but you know what? With all the pandemic going around, it's not a good idea to do that. And uh, another thing to mention is is that, um, how do I put it? The cast did not age very well. <laughs> um, you look at, they were like, I'm trying to think. If you had 20 years to however they were old they were then, they'd only, they wouldn't even, some of them wouldn't, no, none of them would be even 35 years old. Yet they, some of them look like they're 50 or 40. It's the... <laughs> And, you know, that's the problem. The way human humans age nowadays, everybody looks different. You never know what someone's going to look at at 40 or 50 years old. I'm just saying, though, a lot of times when you have a reunion, you can't expect the characters to look even somewhat like they did when they played on the, the camera. All right. Bye-bye.